Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to my dollhouse build. If you've been following along with me, then you know I've been working on the Charlie's Cozy Cottage by Real Good Toys. Today's video is going to show how I wire the dollhouse for electricity using a tape wire system. This is the kit that I'll be using and it's called CK101 Starter Wiring Kit. It's made by Circuit Concepts and it has everything you need to wire your dollhouse except for the lights. So we'll start this video by opening up the kit, taking a look at each one of the components and seeing how they're used. So let's get started. You can find this kit at Hobby Lobby for around $50, but I recommend checking eBay for bargains because that's where I found this one for less than the cost of a transformer. Inside, there's an instruction booklet with detailed instructions and illustrations. This is the 12 volt transformer, the part that plugs into the wall. These come in a range of sizes from 5 watts up to 40 watts. You choose a size based on the number of lights you plan to have in your dollhouse. The package has the number of lights you can use, so you count the total number of bulbs in each light fixture. This is a 10 watt transformer that can support 10 to 16 bulbs. It's important to use the recommended number of bulbs because if you don't use at least the minimum number of bulbs, then your lights will burn out faster. If you use too many bulbs, then they'll be too dim. This is a 15 foot roll of tape wire. It's basically thin copper tape with a sticky back and it's how you run the electricity throughout your dollhouse. This is the lead in wire, which is how you connect your dollhouse to the transformer. It has two prongs on one end and a plug on the other. It also has an on off switch. This is the junction splice. It has nails on the bottom that you hammer into the tape wire and it has two holes on the end that you plug into the lead-in wire. This is the test probe. It has two sharp points that you stick into the tape wire after everything is connected and plugged in. If you have a good connection, then it lights up. This is the pilot hole punch. It's a tool you use to make the holes for the eyelets and brads. These are the eyelets, which I'll be using to make all my connections. These are the brads, and they're like tiny little nails. They're very hard to work with, so I really don't use these. To use the pilot hole punch, you'll first need to unscrew the top part and remove the pieces inside. There are two needles that are sized to fit the eyelets and a number 55 drill bit. If your dollhouse is made of soft wood, then you can use the needles to make holes for the eyelets. If your dollhouse is made of MDF like mine, then you'll need to use the drill bit to make your holes. The first step in wiring your dollhouse is laying your tape wire. You'll need to plan where you want to put lights before you begin so you'll know where the tape wire should go. I'll be using this piece of MDF to show you the steps because it'll be easier to see what I'm doing. To lay the tape wire, peel off the paper backing a little at a time and smooth it down. The easiest way to make a turn is to fold the tape down at a 90 degree angle in the opposite direction you want it to go and then fold it back up. Use something like a gift card to smooth it flat. For the next step, I'll use the junction splice, the transformer, and the lead-in wire. I'll use the test probe to make sure everything's connected properly. I'll also need a hammer and a Phillips screwdriver. I place the nails that are at the bottom of the junction splice on top of the tape wire, making sure they're centered on the blue and copper colored strips. I pound the junction splice in with a hammer. 
I'm hitting it pretty hard because it's designed to be hammered in. Now it's time to prepare the transformer. I loosen the two screws and then I slide in the prongs on the lead-in wire and tighten the screws. And then I plug it into the wall. I plug the other end of the lead-in wire into the junction splice. I use the test probe to make sure it's working, and it is. Sometimes you may need to run a line of tape wire in your dollhouse where folding won't work, so you'll need to connect two pieces with the eyelets. Here I've made an intersection with two pieces of tape wire so I can show you how to connect them. I'm going to drill holes through the matching colors of tape wire, copper through copper and blue through blue, making sure to aim for the center. As I'm drilling, I use my left hand to hold the tool straight and my right hand is only turning it. I'm not pressing down. I'm letting the drill do all the work. If you apply pressure, then it's going to get stuck. The hole has to be deep enough for the eyelet to fit. This drill, or any hand drill with the number 55 bit, gives you the size hole you need for these eyelets to make a good connection, so you shouldn't have problems if you follow these steps. The needle is handy for picking up the eyelet and placing it in the hole. I've set an eyelet through the copper strip and I'll show you the steps using the blue strip. So I use the needle to place the eyelet in the hole. I use my tweezers to hold it in place while I pull out the needle. And then I hammer the eyelet flush. Now it's time to plug it in and test the connection. Now I'm going to show you how to connect a light fixture. First, cut the plug off the end and then split the wire down the middle. I'm using the needle from the kit, but anything sharp will work. Once you've made the split, it's easy to pull the two wires apart. I'm using my fingernail to strip the coating from the copper wires and then I twist the thin copper wires. I do this for both wires. Then I trim the twisted wires with my scissors. I drill a hole through each color of tape wire as before, making sure the hole is deep enough for the eyelet. I stick the twisted wires in the hole, and then I set an eyelet in there just as before. I hit the eyelet a couple of times with a hammer, but before it's flush, I like to wrap any exposed wire around the eyelet and then I finish hammering it. I repeat these steps with the other wire. I like to pull the wires far enough apart so they're easy to work with. I cover them with tape when I'm finished. But before I do that, I plug it in to make sure it works. So those are the steps that I'll be using for my dollhouse. I'm putting in the first run of tape wire beginning at the foundation on the side where I want my junction splice. I know where I want to put my light fixtures, so I'll lay the tape wire accordingly. Real Good Toys dollhouses have slots cut into the ceilings on both sides for running tape wire to the upper floor.
I'll be adding the light fixtures in an upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.